that all spring. Welcome to the show, Ken Griffey Jr. Along the right field line. And Rizzo on the ledge. He's got it. Oh, what a play. <laughs> well, the bobblehead company. We got the tarp catch. Now we got the ledge catch. Both against the Milwaukee Brewers. Give him the gold glove right now. Fly ball, center field. NCRT on the run. Still going on the way to track at the stunned a lot of people tonight. Maybe the Network is your exclusive home for postseason baseball. It's the pivotal Game 5 of the World Series between the New York Mets and the Boston Red Sox. Hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian. Welcome to the World Series here on MLB Network. is officially in full swing. Lineups and first pitch coming up next. The crowd is ready to erupt as their guys get set to take the field. Let's join public address announcer Mike Carlucci. And now your 2017 Boston Red Sox. And briefly here, a glance at the two starters who'll get the ball here in this one. And now a chance to meet the Mets. Who do you have your eye on, Dan? Well, Matty, I've been very impressed with Asdrubal Cabrera. He doesn't let the pressure of the big moment get to him. I love watching this guy hit in clutch situations. It's like he takes a deep breath and everything stops in front of him. He plays like the Zen man. Stephen Wright gets the call in game five of the series. HR, what's the word on him? Well, he's pretty basic. The stuff is good, but he's only going to bring three pitches at you. So as a hitter, it's easy to process elimination to start eliminating pitches, but he's very good with the three he has. All right, time for a majestic defensive alignment for the Red Sox. And I'm looking at first base at Mitch Moreland. You know, we talk so often about his offense, but this guy's one of the best defenders in the game. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. There's a knuckleball that he looks at cross right down Main Street for a strike. Matt, this is an important at bat. This is an important half inning. They need to score a run. They didn't score last game. Runs get people excited. You get your fan base enthused. Either they're watching it on television or they're right here in the ballpark. You need to get the people behind you and you need to score a run. And that is going to get on through. So Reyes is aboard on a leadoff hit. So the leadoff hitter reaches with good speed. The two-hole hitter can handle the bat. We'll see if they have a play on here with nobody out. Here now is his Drupal Cabrera. He 
set and the 2 1 pitch. Looking at a tough pitch called the strike. Don't know for sure, but I think he may have been taking there thinking his teammate on first was going to be on the move. Reyes the runner at first with nobody out. Throw over to first, and he'll get back in standing. Now Cabrera awaits the 2-2. Hit hard towards center. And that'll get down for a base hit. Reyes rounds third and is digging for the plate. And now they've got the runner caught in the hot box as he thought about going home. And he is out retreating to third as they slap the tag on him. Batting third, the left fielder number 30, Michael Conforto. And here's a ball hit in the air. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. Runner at first here, one man out. On the ground is short. This could be two. Pedroia on to Moreland as they get them both. It's a double play, and that ends the inning. So they get to him for a couple of hits in the inning here, but they've got nothing to show for it. Now the Red Sox will get their shot, no score. With that, here's how the hometown Red Sox line up in this one. Thoughts, Dan, who stands out? Yeah, when he's going good, there are very few guys as fun to watch as Hanley Ramirez. He's one of those guys you want at the plate in those big game-defining moments. He's such a clutch hitter. I love watching him in those situations, and hopefully we'll have that in this game as well. Robert Gesellman has the ball for the fifth game of the series. Harold, any thoughts? Well, Matt, I, I love watching this guy pitch. I went back, looked at the video of his last game. He pitched into the sixth inning, threw the ball great, had electric stuff when he needed to, pitched out of some tough jam, and pitched well enough to get the W. So I think we'll see tonight really firsthand what kind of pitcher he is. We'll get to see it firsthand. Well, let's take a look at the Mets defense brought to you by Majestic. And I'm looking down there at the catcher, Travis Dorno. The thing about Travis, not a big guy, and he's had some injuries along the way. But if he can stay healthy, he's got a great pitching staff to catch. Here's the second baseman now, Dustin Pedroia. And there's ball two now. But Royal waiting on the 2 1. Hit out towards second. And that finds its way through for a base hit. So the leadoff man reaches base to start out the first. Well, this is the recipe they want. Their pitcher comes out, throws a scoreless top of the first, and then you get a leadoff single to start the bottom of the end. Good start. Stolen base for Pedroia. A runner at second, nobody out. Here's a high pop up. The catch is made on the mound, and that's the first out. Batting third, right fielder, 
Hit well down the left field line, but back into the crowd foul. A two and two count. Here's the pitch. High in the air out to center field. Lagares is under it. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. And with two away now, let's take another look at our playoff brackets. And of course, the question on everybody's mind, will we crown a champion here tonight? Here's the left fielder, Hanley Ramirez. First opportunity for him here with the leadoff man still standing at second. Two gone now. And he takes a called strike two. That pitch right there just locked him up. A curveball that doesn't break. A little front door curveball. You're looking for it to go back out over the plate, and it doesn't. It just locks you up as a hitter. And that swung on and fouled straight back. A lot of times you see guys in the middle of the order get worked away, but not right here. They're keeping it inside on him. Now another 1-2. Hit the other way out toward right field. Cespedes is there. And that retires the side. And inning in the books. Scoreless on MLB Network. Here's Joanna Cespedes. His career numbers against Stephen Wright, he's one for two. He's taken him deep once. From the windup, the 1-1 one -one pitch. There's a knuckleball that finds the highest part of the zone. He might want that pitch back up and away. That's a pitch you can really drive if you have the right approach towards that opposite field gap. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one two. Chop foul over towards the dugout. Here he comes again one two. And here's a ball hit in the air. And Sandoval will put this one away for route number one. Batting fifth, third baseman, number five, David Wright. Here's the third baseman, David Wright. No score here as we play inning number two. Nope. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Wilmer Flores is on deck. Into his motion. Here comes the three and one. And they won't tempt it here with right as that pitch misses for ball four. Batting sec. First baseman number four. Wilmer Flores. Now to the plate, Wilmer Flores. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. He's set and the 2 1 pitch. Knuckle ball upstairs. Dangerous pitch taken for a strike. So let's take a look at our umpiring crew in this one. Behind the plate is Joe McDonald. Well, McDonald strikes him. It's pretty ordinary, pretty basic. Now, sometimes it's tough to figure out, and that's when you get frustrated with him. There's not a whole lot of flash, but you just want him to be consistent. Pick one side or the other. That's where guys get frustrated. This one skied out toward right. Calling for it is Betts, and Mookie's got it for the second out. Batting seven, catcher, Travis Darno. Here's the catcher, Travis Darno. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. Hit on the ground to third. There's Sandoval, and he'll go the short way to retire the side. Mets leave one, 
We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Ready now, Mitch Moreland, as they'll have five, six, and seven here to start the home half of the second. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. And they'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. Tries to go the other way as this is in the air to left field. Conforto comes in a few steps as he hauls it in for the first out. Batting six, center fielder, Chris Young. One and one, here it comes. Oh, look out, hot shot to third, and there are two away. Batting seventh, left fielder, Andrew Benintendi. The left-handed hitting Andrew Benintendi stands in. He'll try to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. And this is going to be a foul ball. The 2 2 one more time. To short. Right there is Reyes. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Some of our nation's young minds and future leaders here in attendance. Yikes. To complete scoreless here on MLB Network. At the plate, Gavin Cicchini, as we are all set to begin the third inning in this one. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. And this will get through into right, and he's aboard with a single. Well, you don't see a lot of knuckleballs left in the middle of the plate. They usually dance around the outer edges, but right there he got one in the middle, and he didn't miss it. Juan Lagares. Standing in now, Juan Ligaris, as he sends it on the ground to first. There's one on to first, and it's another double play. Already two of them here in the first three innings so far. That's one of the hardest double plays to turn right there because of the difficult throw the first baseman has to make. No problem this time, though, and they get the two outs they were looking for. Into the box, Jose Reyes. And when that thing's doing that, forget it. It's one and two. Foul back. Third inning, no score to this point. Now a swing and a fly ball. And this will wind up a foul ball. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Hit on the ground toward the left. Gloved by Bogarts. Throw won't get him. Well, that's playing within his game right there. The speedster gets a little infield single, and now he's on to do damage. As dribble Cabrera. throw over to first and he'll be back in standing up two out with the man at first he 
Into the box now as Drupal Cabrera pitches a cold strike. The throw, and it's not in time, so Reyes has himself a stolen base. That's pretty savvy base running, right? A lot of pitchers don't throw over twice in a row, so I think he was going on first movement, and it worked out nicely. Now a pickoff play at second. Two out here and a runner at second. And this is fouled back and out of play. They'll try again, one, two. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Mets strand one. Home half of the third coming up. No score. Stepping into the box, Pablo Sandoval, as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. Set to deliver on two and one. And this pitch is hit foul off to the left and out of play, so the count goes to two and two now. And another foul ball. The 2 2 one more time. This one is launched. Look at this. And out of here. And I mean by plenty. That ball was crushed. A solo shot here for Pablo Sandoval. His first homer here in the series as the Red Sox get the game's first run. It's one to nothing. After this pitcher sat down six of his teammates in a row, he was looking to break through against him with anything. Well, the home run will definitely suffice. Great job of breaking the string and getting his team going right there. In now, Blake Swihart. And that changeup makes him jump, a swing and a miss. I like how he's mixing up the fastball and the changeup right there. That's how we got the two and two count. I think he comes back with a changeup here. There's a high foul ball as it finds a lucky fan in the upper deck for a souvenir. Hit sharply on the ground, taken there by Cabrera. Throw on to first, so a good comeback there as he gets the first out of the inning. The second baseman, number 15, Justin Pedroia. Digging in for his second at bat, Dustin Pedroia. One run in and one gone so far this inning. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. Bouncer down the line. That goes foul, so he stays alive with two strikes. Another 2 2 offering. Lifted in the air out towards left center. And he will make the play. Two away now. The shortstop, number two, Sander Bogart. Here's Xander Bogarts now. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Even at a ball and a strike. Here's the pitch. Chop fouled over towards the coaching box. Two out, nobody on. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Hit.
hit down the line at first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. The Red Sox are on the board thanks to the solo home run. We played three full, and it's 1-0 Boston. With Harold Reynolds, Dan Plesak, Matt Vaskersian, as Michael Conforto digs into the left-handed side of the batter's box to start things out. That's on the corner to put him behind now. One and two. Well, they've really had an answer for keeping him in check in this series. He's offered very little resistance with the bat in his hand so far. One and two. Here it comes. Hit hard but foul to the left, and they'll try it again. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. And a foul pop behind the plate. And he'll lunge forward to make the catch for the first out. So with that, let's call on the guys in the graphics department to put up the pitch speed comparison for the two starters. And these graphics can sometimes be a little misleading when you've got a knuckleballer on the mound, but here you go regardless. Digging in, Joanna Cespedes. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. No runs, four hits, and no errors on the Mets line score so far. Good knuckleball, and it's a called strike two. Ready on one and two. High pop up. Sandoval is under it near the mound. He's got it, and there are two down now. The third baseman, number five, David Wright. Striding in once again, David Wright reached base via the walk in his first plate appearance. No runs, four hits, and no errors on the Mets line score so far. Line towards center field. And he dives to make a spectacular catch. What a play there to end the inning. Worth a second look here as this is a beauty to end the inning. More baseball on MLB Network right after this. Here's Mookie Betts. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. And they'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. Those 0-2 curveballs are really tough for guys to lay off. There's a reason it's such a common pitch in that count, but he did well to spit on it there. Line toward the alley in left center. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Riding into the box, Hanley Ramirez. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Halfway to 100 pitches, here it is. Turned on that one and crushed it, just pulled it a little foul. 1 and 2, here it comes. Popped high in the air. Right is there for it. And that's the first out of the inning. The first baseman, number 18, Mitch Moreland. Here's the first baseman now, Mitch Moreland. Flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. 1 and 1, here it comes. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. And the catch out there made by Wright for out number two. Now batting center fielder, Chris Young. So two gone now here in the Red Sox fourth. And that'll bring in the center fielder, Chris Young. The one-two pitch. 
And a fastball called strike three, and the side is retired. One left for the Red Sox, but they're up one to nothing. Here's the pitch. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Into the windup. Here's the two and one pitch. There's a knuckleball bobbing and weaving right over the outside corner. He's ready with the two two pitch. Rounded down the third baseline, but a foul ball as it holds it two and two. Another try at two two. Mine to the right side. That's his first base hit, making one for two now. So with that, the Mets have a runner aboard to get the inning underway. I really like his approach right there. Took a few knuckleballs, got a chance to measure it. Then he got one to his liking and got a base hit. The more you see him, the better off you got to be, right? Here's the catcher, Travis Darno. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. And this is on the ground to short. Could be two. To second for one. On to Moreland. It's a double play. Hey, doesn't come much easier than that. Taylor made 6-4-3 double play and an easy one to turn. Ready for another chance? Gavin Cicchini. One for one after a single this first time up. Bases are empty here with two men out. Swing and he pops him up over toward foul territory. And he will indeed make the play in foul territory to retire the side. Mets go down quickly. They're down 1-0. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Andrew Benintendi comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Swung out and missed, and it's even at two and two. I got to count two and two. Ready on two balls and two strikes. Here it comes. Look out. Don't want to hit him there. It's full three and two. There's the panda on deck. He'll bat next. That softly hit to right. Will that get down? But right to Cabrera, and that's now the first out. The third baseman, number 48, Pablo Sandoval. Standing in, Pablo Sandoval. He got a hold of one and went yard in his first appearance in this one. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. Takes a knee-high fastball. If you're able to locate your fastball like that, you're going to have a good game. I'm not surprised to look up and say he's having a good game right now because he's been spotting that fastball pretty good most of the game. Swing, and that's hit out of play up into the plaza level. He's clearly looking to hit off the fastball and adjust. That's a pretty good swing after seeing two fastballs now in a row. Now a swing, and he pops him up right up the chute. This may be tough behind the plate. And he'll put this one away in foul territory for the second out. Now batting. Catcher. Blake Whitehart. And that'll bring in the speedy catcher Blake Swihart. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Two out, nobody on. 
taking all the way and it's three and one now. No walks yet. Here's the delivery. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Ligares is under it, and that's the third out. Red Sox go down one, two, three, but they lead it one to nothing. Here's Juan Ligares. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. And now Boston's bullpen springs into action. A left-hander and a right-hander begin to throw. Here's the one-and-one one delivery. And there's a pitch that just misses the inside corner. Well, it's been a good outing so far, but he hasn't really racked up the strikeout totals that you might think, Dan. Yeah, it amazes me how every game you pitch can be so different, Matt. Sometimes it feels like guys can't touch you and you're just punching everyone out. But other times, you don't have your good stuff and you really rely on movement and location to get outs. That's been the case for him today, and it's really working. Well, they haven't had a lot of offense in this game. Right now, though, you got three balls here. Maybe this will be the leadoff walk that gets things going for them. And now pitch on the way. Called strike two, and now it's full three and two. Clearly wasn't ready for the fastball because it was pretty much center cut, and he couldn't pull the trigger. Might have been looking for another curve. Here's the pitch. Now here's a swing and a high pop-up, drifting into shallow right field. And Pedroia looks this one in for out number one. Shortstop number seven, Jose Reyes. Ready once again, Jose Reyes. Couple of singles to his credit thus far. Bases are empty, one man out. Pedroia now at second, right to him. On to Moreland, and that's in time for the second out. The batter number 13, second baseman, has dribble Cabrera. Stepping in and ready for another shot as Dribble Cabrera. He singled in two trips to the plate thus far. 1-1 one, one pitch coming now to Cabrera. Tried to crush that ball and now perhaps needs to shorten up with two strikes. He did a nice job of getting two outs before the two hitter came to the plate. Now you got the two hitter at the plate and you start to move to the power. You want to keep as many of those little guys out front off the base before the big boys come up. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Again he sends it out of play. Another one sent foul. Again, a one two. Goes the other way with it as this is in the air down the line and left. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Mets go down one, two, three. They trail this one one to nothing. Here's the second baseman now, Dustin Pedroia. One for two on his line so far in the game. Action in the Mets' bullpen now. It's both a lefty and a right-hander that start to throw. One and one, here it comes. Good change up that time, but he wouldn't bite on it. Pedroia waiting on the 2 1. And a fastball just a bit up. He's really been good this game. Around the plate, throwing strikes, hasn't walked anybody. Right now, he finds himself a little bit of a hole, but he can battle back. 
into his motion. Here comes the three and one. Here's a swing and a ground ball. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch to third. There to get it is right. No problem here. One away. Hey, not a lot you can do with that pitch. That fastball just ate him up inside and gets the soft grounder for the out. Here's Xander Bogarts now. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. Here's the 1 and 2 delivery. Misses ball two. Well, that's what you want from your curveball on one and two. You start it in the zone and let it break out of the zone where it can't be punished. Didn't get him to go after it, but the execution was nice. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there. Two away. Boy, there's nothing better from a pitcher standpoint than watching that high a fastball, fastball. A high piece of cheese right. swung at and missed. Okay. That pitch looks so inviting to hit, but it's awfully tough to put in play. Standing in now, Mookie Betts. And he'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. Now the pitch. Here's a swing and a high pop up drifting toward the third base dugout and no one will get this one. Set to deal on two and two. Change up misses and it's full three and two. Three two counts are usually a time to challenge the hitter but I think he'll be careful here. Shoot for the corner and if you miss and you walk him so what that's better than him putting one in the seats. Looking to fade his first walk. Here it comes. Now a fastball runs inside and drills him. Oh, that's got to hurt. And I'll tell you, this is the last guy in the lineup you want to put on base for free. He's probably feeling a little salty after getting drilled, and he's got speed to burn, so look for him to try and make something happen out there. Here's Hanley Ramirez. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. too late as he steals second with ease. Hey, that's a great call from the dugout to put the runner in motion that time. With two outs and a good hitter at the plate, it's a pretty low-risk play. If he's out, you still got the same good hitter leading off the next inning. But if he's safe, he's in scoring position and a lot easier to drive in. Looking to keep this a one-run game, the pitch. And Ramirez will just try and work his way aboard here. It's three and one. These guys have got to be frustrated as an offensive unit so far in this one. They haven't been able to crack the code on their opponent, but it's not like they're getting great pitch to hit either. This starter has kept the ball on the corners of the zone all game long. Set. Here's the three one. And that misses ball four. So it's first and second now with two out. Wow, if that's not a strike, I don't know oh, what is. I know these subs have a tough job. I get it. We'll see if he gets the next borderline call or if there are any makeup calls coming up. Riding in once again, Mitch Moreland. We'll see if he can come through in a clutch spot here. Two on, two out here in inning number six. Here's the payoff pitch. And this one's chopped foul right at home plate. He's set. Here's the three and two. Swing and he popped him up over in foul territory back behind third. And Wright will make the catch to retire the side. A couple of walks, but no damage. On to the back third tonight. Stick around on MLB Network. Welcome back to Fenway Park here in the great city of Boston. It's on to the seventh now in game number five. But before the inning gets underway, let's spill you in on what's happened with our game summary. 
digging in once again, Michael Conforto. And guys, seventh inning already. Hey, I'm not complaining, but this one's been flying by. Yeah, I'll agree with that, Matt. That's what you get when both starting pitchers have it working. Neither of them have been nibbling around the strike zone at all, and they've trusted their defense to make the plays, and they've done just that. Yeah, and it's resulted in a game that could really go either way in these late innings. From the windup, the 1-1 one -one pitch. Low and inside with the breaking ball as that causes him to back up a bit. And a perfect start to the seventh as this should be extra bases. He takes the turn and heads for second. And he'll get in at second base as the tying runs aboard with a leadoff double. Finally, a little well, something for them to get excited it. about. Yeah, yeah, a rally can begin with a single swing of the bat, and this might be their chance right here. They've struggled to produce a lot of runs, but there he is at second base. A shot to the outfield scores him. Then who knows what kind of roll they can get on. Got to take it one good at bat at a time. And yeah, we see a lefty and a right-hander start to loosen up in the bullpen. Stepping in now, Joanna Cespedes. And this is pulled foul as he was way out in front there. Here's the one and two. And now a swing and a ball hit in the air out to left field. Ben Intendi comes in a few steps as he hauls it in for the first out. The third baseman, number five, David Wright. Here's the third baseman, David Wright, comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Ready on three and one. Here it comes. And this misses here for ball four. Just the second walk he's issued here into his seventh inning of work. Now batting the first baseman, Wilmer Flores. Ready for another shot now. Wilmer Flores. He's one for two in the ball game. One out with the possible tying and go ahead runs on base here. He's going, and he's a going. double steal try here. And this is going to be a foul ball. Looking for the K. Here's the pitch. Now a swing and a fly ball. And this will wind up a foul ball. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Curveball that time, not even close. Well, one thing about him, he's an absolute grinder at the plate. You can pretty much count on him battling at the plate every chance he gets. set and the 2 2 pitch and this ball is also hit foul and heading for the seat so we'll have to do it again still two and two ready with another 2 2 pulled high in the air out to left field waiting on it is Benintendi and he makes the catch for the second out and no tag at second. He'll head back there with two away now. Now batting, catcher, Travis Darno. Into the box now, Travis Darno. Two outs and two runners aboard here in the seventh inning. Big spot, two out, possible tying and go ahead runs on base. Drilled on the ground is short. Bogarts lays out. What a stop. Touche, sir. One for the highlight reel as they get the force play to get him out of trouble. Don't touch that remote. More on MLB Network right after this.
Your Josh Hedgen gets the call now from the pen the to take over on the mound Number and start 66. the home seven. Josh Hedgen. Here's Chris Young. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. And this is taken for a called strike. Oh, that's a tough call. Now 1 and 2. Fouled back. I like the pitch right there. Got him to chase a fastball out of the zone. I'd come back with it again. The one and two pitch. And a swing and a ball hit foul heading for the seats. So another foul ball here and it remains one and two. That's probably not what he wants to do with two strikes right there with the fastball. He is fortunate he just fouled it off. Lays off to one two change up and he's worked it back to two and two. Ready with the two and two. A swinging bunt to the mound. Throw to first is in time for the first down. Now batting, left fielder, Andrew Benintendi. The left handed hitting Andrew Benintendi stands in. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. Ready with the 1-1 one, one pitch. Slider stayed too low. Ball two. Now that was a good pitch to lay off. When it starts on the outside half of the plate, that slider right there, you know it's going to continue to run off the plate. Hopped up. And this is taken in by Reyes for out number two. Now batting the third baseman, number 48, Pablo. Sandoval. Pablo Sandoval will stand in again as we take you back to earlier in the ball game. This one swing here has been the entire offense to this point as this home run accounted for the only run they've tallied so far. The bases are empty here with two men out. And they'll go off speed here as this pitch misses. It's two and one. The set and the two and one pitch. Chopped weakly to the left. Right. Oh my. Bear hands it. How about that? Down in order go the Red Sox. They lead it one to nothing. T.J. Rivera will pinch hit pinch here, and he's the potential York. tying run. Number 54, T.J. Rivera. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Hit in the air to straightaway center. Young is there. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. The center fielder number 12. Very tight Juan ball game Lagarde. so far. One nothing the score as we take a look at our starter comparison, and both guys have given excellent performances to this point. Digging in to try it again. Juan Lagares. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ball game. One out, nobody on. Right side, hit hard. And a reach, but it's by him as he couldn't quite get to that ball. It's like magic or something. He's given up a boatload of hits, but they haven't been able to chase a runner home. And that's just another base hit in a long line of many. Seems like he's been pitching from the stretch the entire game, but somehow he's still got a shutout going. We'll see how long he can make this last. Here comes Sox manager John Farrell on his way out to the mound. And he's looking to the bullpen here, so it would appear that's all for his starter tonight. 
So he'll depart with the lead and a chance to be the winner, but he is responsible for the tying run at first. Carson Smith gets the call as he'll pitch with one gun in the top of the eighth. Jose Reyes will be the first to greet him here as he'll stand in with a runner at first and one away. Come on, Sark. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. Now a ball lined toward the alley in left center. And this is into the gap for his third hit of the night, and it'll be good for extra bases. And he is in there at third as the possible tying run. You don't think fielding second is important? Base. Instead of and a routine out, you got a guy standing at second base after a two-base error. We'll see if the pitcher can pick him up. And some action now in the Boston bullpen as a right-hander's up and throwing. Into the box now as Dribble Cabrera on a rope to the second baseman. The left fielder number 30, Michael Conforto. Your attention, please. Now so with a left-handed hitter shot. waiting, they'll go to number their own left-hander out of the bullpen. Fernando Abad. Michael Conforto will be his first assignment as he steps in with two men in scoring position now. So two away. And he comes back with a fastball. One and two now. Great spot with that pitch down and away. He'll be fine coming out of the bullpen in this one if he can keep hitting that spot. to hold the lead here's the delivery yanked on the ground down the line oh look at the sliding stop got him two left for the Mets they still trail one nothing Hansel Robles is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth number 47 Hansel Robles. Blake Swihart will be the first one to greet him here as he'll be forced to turn around and hit from the left side now. And now a pitch on the way. Slider can't find the zone here and he's behind now three and one time to focus here this game is way too close to be walking guys so we'll see if he can make him swing the bat on this next pitch out of play off to the right this is hit the other way out toward left field. Conforto has him played perfectly as he puts it away for round number one. Pitching certainly has been on display in this one, and there's the evidence of it right there. One nothing our score, as there are an awful lot of zeros on that line score to this point. Now at the plate, Dustin Pedroia. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Bases are empty, one man out. Pitch swung on and hit in the air. Lagara is giving chase. And he tracks it down. A nice running play to record the second out. A shortstop, number two, Sander Bogart. Here's Xander Bogarts now. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Now a swing as he hits this one into the air. Uh, this will be foul off to the right out of play. 
Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. Red Sox go down one, two, three, but they're on top one to nothing. Welcome back to baseball on MLB Network from Boston, Mass. We're set for the final innings of this one. Craig Kimbrell comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Here's your one to Cespedes. He's going to lead things off in their half of the ninth as they try to avoid the dreaded shutout. It's never a good feeling to get shut out, and over the course of the season, it's bound to happen a few times. They've just been overmatched by good pitching. Have a nice flight home, man. Full count here. Here comes the pitch. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Ben Intendi ranging back. And as Mets fans have heard before, that ball's out of here. A solo home run here off the bat of Yoenis Cespedes. His second home run of the series as the Mets have come back to tie things at one. Don't you just love the World Series? This home run right here that ties the game late. It's the best competition at the best time of the year, and the best players step up. This is terrific. In now, David Wright. And a knuckle curve missed that time, two and one. Two one here it is takes a look at a fastball down the middle for strike number two. Well these hitters can expect to see a heavy dose of that big fastball from this reliever. It's a major part of his arsenal. Bases are empty here nobody out. Swing and a little blooper to center. Bogarts onto the grass. He's got it one away. First baseman number four, Wilmer Flores. Ready for another chance? Wilmer Flores. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Down low, two balls and a strike. He's set and the 2 1 pitch. A fastball right down the middle for a strike. He's set. Here's the 2 2. Never tempted to swing at that ball down low. It's ball three. Well, that two seam fastball ran a little too much off the plate, but now that sets him up to work with something away and maybe even an off speed pitch. He's set. Here's the three and two. Hit weakly back to the mound. On to Moreland, and that's in time for the second out. Darno. Here's the catcher Travis Darno. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far.
Here's the one and one delivery. No contact there, and it's one and two. Two out, nobody on. And this is fouled back and out of play. Dribbled to the right side. And the throw to first is in time, but the damage has been done as the side is retired. But the Mets are able to square things up on this solo home run. Home half of the ninth is straight ahead. All even now at 1-1. AJ Ramos enters to do the pitching, and best case scenario for him is to push this one into extra innings. Here's Mookie Betts, a hit in two official trips to the plate to this point in the ballgame. Rene Rivera is into the ballgame here as he takes over behind the plate. Rene Rivera. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. And he's in front of a tight little slider that time. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. And here's a ball hit in the air. And it's a base hit. So there you go. The potential winning run aboard to start off the home half of the ninth. Bottom of the ninth then he comes up with a big leadoff yeah, hit. Man, that is beautiful. Sets the ending up nice. Maybe we'll see a walk off here, Matt. Into the box, Hanley Ramirez. Now a drive to right field. This could do it. Game over. Walk off home run. It's a two run shot for Hanley Ramirez. And with one swing of the bat, this ball game is over. Expect drama and historic moments in the World Series, and we just got another one of those. A walk off to end this thing in the final at bat of the game. What a finish! When you're on the big stage here at the World Series, you want to make sure you bring the A game. And this man right here certainly did. He's our top player of the game. And, Matty, I think you're absolutely right. Some guys just seem to thrive under the bright lights of the World Series while other guys fade into the background. He was brilliant in this one, and this is some well-earned recognition. Tonight's ball game comes to a close. Three to one, the final. Boston force a World Series game six and have avoided elimination. So that'll put a wrap on things here this evening. For my partners Harold Reynolds and Dan Plezak, this is Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB Network. Good night, everybody. The final line score for our ball game tonight for the victorious Boston Red Sox. Three runs, five hits, one error. They left four men on base. For the Mets, one run, eight hits, no errors. They left seven men on base. The 2-0.
Each row to right and deep. Back goes Para to the wall, and it's off the wall. 3,000 is in right field, and each row is racing for third. And he's done it. He's climbed the mountain. A triple. And he has arrived at 3,000. One ball and one strike. 